have a, a patient of mine, her name is Debbie, and we have been dealing with uh, your plantar fasciitis for a, a long time, haven't we? Yes, we have, a few years now. It's been, a, it's been a few years you've been in the office. We had a lot of different types of treatments. Uh, tell, tell me how long it's been going on and how it initially started. Do you remember any of that? So it really just came on. Um, there was no injury, no you know, exercising or anything that had to do with it. It just really just came on suddenly. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, it's been a few years now. And did you try some treatments on your own before you came to the doctor? Well, I'm not sure I tried treatments on my own. I just tried to kind of ignore it for a little while, thought, you know, it would get better on its own. Yeah. Um, and when that didn't work, then I, I reached out. Okay. So I'm going to share everyone that's, that's watching here. Um, this is a, originally was your x-ray. And a lot of people talk about people with plantar fasciitis, they have heel spurs. And if we look at uh, Debbie's heel, there is no heel spur right here. You didn't have one of those big heel spurs that a lot of people um, equate plantar fasciitis with. And, uh, and initially, how did we treat this? We, what did we do initially? We didn't do the ultrasound. I don't want to go to the ultrasound right away. What did we do initially for treatment? So initially, um, I believe we started with um, steroid injections. Mm -hmm. um, I think we did two of those um, to begin with. I'm trying to remember. I think, uh, yeah, I think that was the first step. And then we did some physical therapy. Yeah. Um, Probably changed your shoes, icing, yeah. and inflammatories, yep. all that stuff. And all that didn't work. And then I think I, I recommended maybe doing an ultrasound to see what else was going on, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show the, the ultrasound here. So this is an ultrasound. If for those that are watching, the heel is, is always, it's like a foot that's upside down. So here's the heel. Here is the plantar fascia. And here is this, uh, this, this kind of this white area that's outlined is the plantar fascia where it inserts into the heel. It's not very thick at the heel region. It was more thick and inflamed right here a little bit further. And there's um, where there's some thickening in there and inflammation. And uh, so that, that's, then we started to do a different type of a treatment. I think that's when we did the, the shock wave. Is that right at that time? Yes, we did. Shortly after that. Um, so this is kind of the kind of looking down at the heel. Th this is the little checklist that I tend to review with patients a lot. And I think we, we did the x-ray. We did the ultrasound. Did we do an MRI as, as well for you prior? We did not do the MRI. We, no. no, I don't think an MRI is always needed because we had the ultrasound views. Um, so then we did um, the, the, sh the shock wave. We tried a couple of cortisones, anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, home stretching. I think you maybe used a night splint too. Did you try that? Yes, I did. Uh, orthotic shoes, everything. Um, and then, so let's talk a little bit about the, before we get into the advanced things, then we, then we did some of the shock wave. How was that? Did that work a little bit? Did it help temporarily or not at all? Um, the shockwave did help temporarily. Um, when I say temporarily, I mean a week or two. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and normally for shockwave, we do three sessions and we give a six week break. And then all of a sudden we, we tried everything. I think I even put you into a walking boot, didn't I? For a little yep. bit. You were yep. in a walking boot. So you tried my whole list and then it got to a point after a couple of years, we're like, let's just kind of do, do the surgery. Um, yeah. how was that making that decision and, and, and going that route? So the decision was fairly simple to make because we had tried everything. Um, I think jumping to the surgery, if I hadn't tried anything, it would have been more difficult, but I was just at the point of frustration um, and the point of just wanting to get rid of the pain. Yeah. So jumping into surgery really was not, um, was not a tough decision at all. And, and so we decided we scheduled it. How was the whole process of the surgery for those that are maybe considering doing surgery? What was the process, the preparation and the, the day and things like that? Um, everything went fairly smoothly. Um, actually, the surgery happened a lot sooner than I had expected. I, I think it was probably about three weeks out from the day I left your office to the day that mm -hmm. uh, we did the surgery. Um, the process went really smoothly. I, I really enjoyed coming into the office and going over all the paperwork. Um, I've had surgeries in the past where that's done in the hospital and you're just kind of at a state of nervousness in the hospital preparing for surgery. So to go over that pre-hospitalization um, felt a lot more comfortable to me. Yeah. I, I, I do that. That's my pre-surgical discussion. I, I call that. And I, I did that. I always feel like when you do it at the hospital, it's almost like you're, you're getting caught. I don't know, I, for lack of a better term, you're, you're caught unprepared. 
like yeah. not, you're not going to question anything before, but when you, when you do it a couple of weeks or some time before you can ask all your questions, get everything cleared. We went over the surgery, the recovery and everything like that. And we opted to do a, a, a plantar fasciotomy, which is cutting through the fascia, right? Yes, we did. Okay. And how was the surgery? How was the pain afterwards and, and things like that? Um, there wasn't much pain at all afterwards. Um, I um, had the walking boot already, so we just used the same boot. Um, but the pain level was very minimal. Um, I think ibuprofen is all I needed. And, um, you know, I, I think the hardest part really was not being able to drive because it was my right foot. But yeah. um, everything else went smooth. Yeah, and I think the incision was about about that wide, maybe you know, a couple three or four inches, and yeah. um, it went it went well. We took the stitches out at two weeks, and now you are I think four to six weeks out now. Yes. And uh, compared to kind of before and and now, how much better do you feel and and things? Oh, I am probably about eighty percent better Good. at this point. Um, very very minimal pain maybe every once in a while, but nothing, nothing compared to what it was. Okay, good. You, you said you've been doing hiking and other things that you've, you've wanted, yeah. but you haven't been able. That's what we find a lot of people with plantar fasciitis. It hinders them from pr playing with their kids, their grandkids, doing activities. Um, kind of looking back at the whole process, anything that you may have done different? I, I always think, you know, would you have maybe done a uh, treatment different, done something sooner or anything else? Well, knowing that the surgery was successful, yeah, of course, I would have jumped to that a lot sooner, but um, I, I'm comfortable with with the fact that we tried all the other options before jumping to surgery, so. Yeah, I, I think most people kind of do that as the last option. That's kind of the way I do it, because there's, there's always risks. You, thankfully, you didn't have any of the, the complications that we talked about, but um, yeah. there's always risk with everything. Well, good. Well, Debbie, thank you so much for for being here and sharing. I'm gonna just go back here and show everyone that's watching quick this this uh, list. And if you want this tr treatment checklist that we talked about and kind of the procedure, I have this little, I'm kind of a techie guy. You can download my presentation on plantar fasciitis. So you can get all the slides, read about it, talk about the advanced treatments, just take a picture with your phone with a QR reader. And things that we kind of didn't do, we didn't do amnio or PRP, we kind of went just to surgery. Uh, in your case, just because these ones are, are kind of expensive and they delayed and, and you've had it so long, we went down to the surgery. So if you want that, um, you can download that. And thank you so much, Debbie, for, for being on the call. Sure. Thank you.